Okay. Hi, Glenda. Thanks so much for taking the time to talk to us today about the film that you made called Return to the Closet. Um, we just you. think it's a really good film um, and it's a great example um, of collaboration and co-creation, um, which is really good for our project, Your Respectives project that we're doing. Um, and we've got some questions for you about it, particularly around the um, issue of social impact and how your film has had social impact and how you um, put measures in place to make that happen. Great, hi. Nice to, hi. Nice to be here. So could you tell us then about what you did, what measures you put in place to make, um, to make sure that this, the film had social impact? Hi. So yeah, there was various approaches we took to this film. Um, I think the first thing that we did was we worked very collaboratively with other partners. This involved working with um, Illuminate, which is a age charity, as well as LGBT. So I think bringing that on board, it, we, we got their expertise and we also had an immediate reach to a wider network, their network of contacts. So I think that was quite important. Um, in this instance, timing was a really important factor because the film, we, we made the launch correspond with the 50 year anniversary of the Stonewall riots. This was something that was going to get kind of media attention anyway. So um, it was, yeah, timing was quite crucial because then the media had an interest in it, which then led to them following up on the subject of the film. Um, so, um, I, the, the, as I mentioned, we had a launch, um, we, we launched the film at the Illuminate Film Festival. Um, so uh, we had a platform to get the film out there. Um, and at the launch, we also um, created a, a Q&A. So we had an invited mem uh, panel, a panel of members bring, coming in. Um, so we invited people from the healthcare sector, um, people who worked in care, also people who were working in government and policy. So I think that was also really important we, to get these key players who can actually influence policy and change on side right from the beginning. Um, so yeah, I think that was the, the main approaches we took to, to try and you know, get the film out there and actually implement change and have let it hopefully make it have an impact. Right, okay, well that brings me on to the next question that we've got, which oh. is about who has seen it, who you think will actually be able to implement change? Yeah, so obviously there was all the people who saw it at the screening. Um, it's been put online, so it's got a wider um, audience now, especially within the LGBT community. But the main people is people who are working in the healthcare sector. Um, so we have targeted them directly, and this film is now used as a training tool um, for their staff to... I mean, the film. what the film does is it really brings awareness to these issues and that acts as a springboard to start dialogue and discussion which is then used um, as a tool in training really just to inform people of the situation and of the challenges and issues that these people are facing so yeah that's the main the main kind of thing that we've wanted to do with this film is is bring it into training and bring it bring awareness with it and um what social um, sorry what social change does the film hope to make an impact on? Yeah, so yeah, like I say, it's, it's bringing awareness um, to the, the issues that are here. That's really key and crucial in this, in this um, project and, it, and informing people um, and letting it be used as a training tool is um, really what we're, we're hoping to do with it. Great. And um, what would you advise organisations to do to ensure that social impact is achieved through, through um, digital storytelling and filmmaking? Yeah, I think there's, um, there's so many different approaches. Um, so, you know, talking from the, the, our experience with this film, I think the key things that we found are, you know, really collaboration is important and um, bringing in other people's knowledge, experience and contacts. Timing was really important. Um, so thinking about that when you're actually going to launch your film or bringing up something that's maybe relevant in media at that point in time. Getting the media on side is a, a really crucial factor because it just raises awareness and lets, um, you know, it just gives more profile and power to your project. Um, 
And then, yeah, just like inviting people from the key industries, uh, if you can, or contacting them directly or getting them involved in the project. So you automatically have them on board and on side to then actually, they, they are the link to, to making the change happen. Um, someone had commented or a few people commented on the film saying that one of its strengths was the fact that it was quite unconfrontational. So it wasn't really going out to attack what was wrong with the system, but it was more that it became, um, it was just a really personal story. And I think that's actually the key factor in, in this kind of digital storytelling is allowing the, the participants to own the story, allowing them to really voice their hopes and fears. So the story comes from them. I think if I had made the film as a, you know, as a filmmaker, it would have been a completely different thing. I would have projected my own ideas and my own sort of style onto it. Whereas I think its value and its strength is it's come it's been completely directed and informed and sort of grown organically from the participants, from their direct lived experience. It's their hopes and it's their fears. And I think that's what really gives the power the power to this film is that it's um, you know, it's got that real honesty and sort of sincerity that goes with it. So that you know, I think that's a point to consider as well. Great, thanks for that. You can really see that actually what you're saying with your film um, or with their film is that it is actually their film. It's their lived experience and it's what they're, you know, what they're experiencing now. And, and, um, and you can really see that and that's great. And you can see kind of that the, they have had ownership of it. So that's great. Yeah. Thanks so much for your time. You're very welcome. Nice to speak to you. Thank you. Okay. Bye. Bye.